Greetings, this is Jeff Johnson, creator of Fingers Gestures for Unity. In this tutorial, I will show you how to bulk load images from PNG files. So let's dive right in. In Fingers Image Automation scene, that's available in the Prefab Scenes folder. So if you browse to Fingers, Prefab Scenes, you've got Fingers Image Automation scene. Click Play, and I've added a new Bulk Import button. Be warned that when you do this, it will remove everything in this text box down here, so just be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and load my own folder of bulk import images that I had on my clipboard. And I'm going to select this folder. Immediately, it's parsed through all the PNG files in the folder. And you can see them down on this script box here. There were three lightning bolt variants, three letter X's, and three circles. Let's have a look at that folder in Windows Explorer. You can see the circle PNG, letter X PNGs, and lightning bolt PNGs. Let me show you how these files need to look. So the first thing you should do is have a transparent background. So anything that you don't want to be a pixel for your image, make it transparent. Anything that you do want to be part of the image needs to have an alpha value of at least 100. So if I use my eyedropper here and go to this image, you can see that the alpha value is 255 for most of these pixels, so they will get picked up as a pixel. Now this is a little bit thin of a line, you, for extra um, matching you can make a thicker line, that way more pixels match, but this is just what I chose to do. The image needs to be named the key, so in this case circle is the key, and then you can do underscore and then an incrementing number. When you bulk import it's going to use everything before that first underscore as the key, and then you can just use a different key to group your images. Okay, so now that we have this text, it's the exact same thing. If you've watched the image automation tutorial before, you would simply copy this text. Demo scene image. And on the main camera, we have the gesture images. So you can set this to zero to clear it and then set it to one. I could like to use a key of just all if you're just going to paste everything in. And then you could do a score padding of something like 0 0.2. Now, I didn't do a whole lot of variance for my images, so your mileage may vary. So let me try and draw a lightning bolt in here. Okay, it still recognized it, so that's good. All right, so that's how easy it is. You would basically put all your variants, uh, name your file, underscore, incrementing number, and that first part will be the key. And then that bulk import will let you get a bunch of images in very quickly. So this is great if your artist or image source can't be inside of Unity. If it's something else, this is a great way to get those bulk imported. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please reach out to support at digitalruby.com if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.